Welcome back. In the last video, we worked on how to solve systems of equations using substitution. Today, I'm going to go over some special cases where it looks like substitution isn't going to quite work and what that means for the solution of the system. In our first example here, I've got a systems of equations, and it looks like a perfect one that I can use substitution for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this y equals x plus 10. I'm going to plug x plus 10. in for that y, and I'm just going to rewrite this top equation now. Once I rewrite the equation, I just use my algebra. I'm going to distribute this negative 3. Once I distribute that negative 3, now I'm going to look to add like terms. It looks like I've got x's over here, a 3x and a minus 3x. And when you do 3x and you take away 3x, you end up with 0x. And this is where we get into an interesting situation. 0 times x is just 0. So really what I'm saying here is, negative 30 equals negative 30. Because 0 times x, that just cancels out. That kind of just goes away. And I'm left with negative 30 equals negative 30. So it doesn't seem like substitution quite works here, because where did all your variables go? You don't have any more variables left. But really, you can look at this and decide, is this true, or is this a false statement? And in this case, it is true. Negative 30 does equal negative 30. Those two things are equal to each other. So this is a true statement. And any time we end up with a true statement, that means we're going to have infinite solutions. Okay, so this is a special case, and just like when we graphed systems of equations, and sometimes we had lines that were on the coordinate plane, and then we had another line that lined up right on top. I can't do that with my arms, but if you had another line right on top of that line, then we knew that that was infinite solutions. So same thing here, using substitution. Anytime, we, anytime our variables disappear and we end up with a true statement, that means infinite solutions. Let's try another example. All right, again here, I've got a uh, systems of equation. And it, again, it looks like a perfect case to use substitution, so I'm going to go ahead and try it. I'm going to plug in this x plus 3 wherever there's a y. So I do that, and I go ahead and distribute this negative 2, like I always do. Okay, and then I look to combine like terms. And again, I've got an x here and an x here, so I combine those. In this case, I have 2x, and then I take away 2x. And when I have 2x, and then I take away 2x, I'm left with 0, or 0x. Zero if you want to write it like that, that's fine. 0x minus 6 equals 5. Well, we know that 0 times x, 0 times anything is 0. So 0 times x must be 0. And that just kind of that part just goes away. It disappears. It's it's worth nothing. It's zero. So I'm left with negative six equals five. And again, I just have to decide: is that a true statement or not? And obviously, it's pretty easy in this case. We know that negative six does not equal negative five. That's not true. So this is false. And if a true statement means infinite solutions, then a false statement must mean no solution. So once again, if we were to think about these lines as a picture, as a graph, then we could think of these two lines as on the coordinate plane but never touching each other. They're never going to cross, and so therefore we have no points where these lines are equal to each other or no solutions. Let's try one last example.
this is a great chance um, in the film here to stop it, pause it, work this problem out, see what kind of solution that you get, and then you can watch the video and see if you made any mistakes or if you see, see if you did it exactly like I did. If you did it exactly like I did, then you're, on, you're ready to uh, go on and solve some of the example problems in the notes. If you had some troubles and didn't get, get it quite right, then you can watch the video and, and test yourself to see if um, you can get it right the next time. All right, so again, I have a systems of equations. They're set up perfectly. I've got one of them in slope-intercept form and one of them in standard form, so that's a great opportunity to use substitution. So I'm going to plug in this value, 5x plus 15, wherever there's a y. Okay, so all I did was just rewrite this bottom equation, except instead of minus 2y, I did minus 2 times x, 5x plus 15, because I know that's what y is equal to. I just substituted it. So I use some algebra. I um, distribute my negative 2. And then I combine like terms. And again, in this case, I've got 10x. And then I take away 10x. I'm left with no x or zero x. And zero times x is zero. That goes away. And I'm left with, again, my variable went away. It disappeared. I don't have any more variables left. I just have numbers. And so I look to see if it's true or false statement. And negative 30 does equal negative 30, so in this case it's true. And we know from that first example, if we end up with a true statement and no variables, then that means we must have infinite solutions. So there we have it. These are some special cases where we tried solving with substitution and the variables disappeared and we ended up with something weird for our answer. So these are some special cases and um, hopefully you now understand what it means when you end up with those kind of answers or solutions. Just to summarize real quick, any time that you solve with substitution, there's three things that could happen. Just like when we graphed, there's three things that could happen. In substitution, the first thing that could happen, and this is the most common thing, this is what happens in 95% of the problems. After you substitute, you find a value for x, and you find a value for y, and that's your solution. You have one solution, and the answer is x comma y. That's what happens most of the time. If you can solve problems like that, then you're in good shape. You're going to get most of the problems right. However, there's those certain um, cases, those special cases, where you did substitution, and then your variables canceled each other out. You had 10x and you took away 10x and now you, all your variables are gone. And if you're left with a true statement, if you're left with a true statement, then that means you have infinite solutions. Okay? And then the last thing that could happen when you use substitution is you do your substitution and again your variables disappear, they cancel each other out. Your 3x canceled out your negative 3x and you're left with 0x's. And then you're left with a statement that's false, okay, like negative 5 equals 10. Well, no, negative 5 does not equal 10. So if you're left with a false statement like that, then that means that your system of equations has no solutions. Those lines never cross. So hopefully um, this gives you a little insight into what else is going on with um, systems of equations when you solve using substitution. Um, Again, most of the time, we're going to get one solution, x comma y. That's the most common thing that happens. But this is just a heads up in case you don't get that for an answer, what your solution means or um, what the answer to that system of equations is. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope this comes easy to you. There's a few more examples for you to try uh, in your notes. So try those examples, and we'll talk about them in class. Thanks for watching.